So today we are going to design this filtering antenna. So yeah, it's replies something like this. So yeah, we will start the design. Okay, first we'll take the substrate. First, we'll take the substrate. This will be minus WS by T to WS by O. Then it will be Java PLS. Why it will be Java PO minus HS. Load the material from that then. Just for R4. We'll use as a lossy load. Okay. Yeah, width is W one, which is around twenty seven. And the length is L one, which is thirty four mm. Right in zero point eight mm. So we will do this. We will design the ground. So for that, we will just extract the back side of the substrate. We will end of the ground. It will be at C. The point of the three five one. We have to change the material from here. As a PEC. Now we will start our design. So this is what approximately we are going to design. The scattering parameter and all are already simulated. So we'll duplicate this structure right now here. So started with the first stub. Uh, this will be our feed, whose x-axis will be minus wf by two to wf by two. Then here is zero to left, right will be at C. Change here material to PEC. So yeah, the width is around. 3.6 mm, length is 1 mm. Okay, perfect. We'll bring our UW coordinates at this location, line WCS. And one thing we have to do, we have to transfer our UW coordinates at a distance of 0 0.035 mm. Okay, so this is the left side. And from there, we will design our stub one. So Z axis will be in negative axis, we will put as a W1. Length will be L1 and height will be minus HC. Now it will ask you the value of W1, which is around 0 0.4. L1, the length, which is 6.5 mm. Yeah. So you see. So if you see, we have one more stub nearby there only. So we'll just take the mirror image of this along U axis. Sorry. Just a minute. Much of the gap. It is zero point seven. Okay. Okay. We'll do one thing. We'll first translate these to a zero coordinate system. And then we'll translate these at a distance of 0 0.7 by 2. 
okay means to the half of the distance perfect and you make the copy of it by using the mirror image along your axis keep a copy okay perfect is done okay and one more component what we have to design at the same location with some gap and where gap is around 0.25 mm so from here it is if you want to see you can see it here this gap is 0.25 so yeah 0.25 mm gap we have to design again one more here new stub new stub 3 where u will be minus w2 by 2 to w2 by 2 length will be 0 to l2 and it will be at c hopefully it should be going if it access perfect yeah. so now it will ask you the value of width which is 0 0.4 and the length is around 13.5 uh, perfect now from the middle point we need to design our stub. We have to design our next stub whose u axis will be now the length we'll put as L3. W will be minus W3 by 2 to W3 by 2. Height will be minus xc and uh, yeah l3 will be around 7 mm and w3 will be around 0 0.49 mm okay u should be minus sorry yep click on okay you can see our stub is almost done now you can see it here till this point we have finished now what we have to design we have to design this stub uh, which is at a distance of around y axis if you see 2.8 mm okay so what we have to do we have to translate this at 2.8 mm okay and there we have to design our next term whose u axis will be width around 0.5 and u axis perfect and along y axis it will be 2.2 and w max will be minus x c because we can see it's done because of okay. Now we have one more stub whose gap is around 1.25 mm, right? So now we will translate our this stub the distance of 1.25. We will create here again stub. Any name we can give one four. The axis will be minus w4 and 4 minus at c. Now, W4 width is around same, it is 0 0.5, and the length we have to increase that is 6.2 mm. Now, one more thing what we need to do it here is we need these both on both the sides. So, what we can do, we can do the mirror image of that. Now, I think the V axis will work. Yes, perfect. Hopefully, this is understood for you in this point. Now we have to design this bigger patch. So for that we have to use the marker again here. So this way. Select this. Now go here again. Create here as a stub. Let us say two one from here onwards. The axis will be the width. Now we'll go. Okay, length we'll take here as minus L five. W will be minus W5 by 2 to W5 by 2. It will be at C. Okay, correct. So, length we have taken along U axis. Okay. So, length is around 
ഇവിടുത്തെ ഏഴ് നോക്കാം ഹിയർ അഗൈൻ ഫോർട്ട് You can select this part here, the center part. And we know these all things are duplicated. So we can take the mirror image of here. Along the V-axis we have to take. You can see very much easily. It has been done. We have to keep a copy of that. Right? We can see this first portion is done. Now we have to design this one only. So which is 2.6 mm. So what we can do? We can just select this face. We can extrude face. at a distance of 2.26 right now you can see this is also done now we have to design a tapering network here for which is taper we can say at this location so for creating a taper first we have to create a rectangular block whose uh, uh, do minimum uh, yeah okay we'll check what is this axis length is So it is 3.6 and the distance is 2.23. Okay, so this two will be done now, 2.6. Yeah. So along the axis, it will be minus 3.6, right? By 2, 3.6 by 2. the axis or length it is 2.3 by this let's see i think it will go in the axis now we have to bend this so for bending again we need to select these two edges this cage and this cage we use chamfered operation we should that what get what so we can cross check here is that what was the brick taken okay then put the field offset and then the field free then put the key we can move on this reading over this okay which was around 2.23 and and eight okay so here in our example we have to take So we have to take around eight. Yeah. So that then only once we do the chamfer, ah, uh, it will be perfectly done. So now here, what we have to do, we have to select both the edges like this way, and use ah uh, bend chamfer. So here bend chamfer. Okay. So yeah. Uh, this we can use around 2.2. This let it be 55. You can see very much exactly it is done from the axis. Is it fine? So this is understood for all. Now we will design our uh, patch antenna main part. Here we have to align WCS coordinate again. Come here. 
will give you a name as a patch one along u axis it will be 14 mm pipe so you can give here as seven to plus seven and along the axis it is eight you can give parameter also okay so there is no issue so, so. and again yeah so line the wcs here you will put here as a patch two uh, along the axis it will be 12 so minus six to plus six Along the axis, it will be 1.4 mm, it will be minus of C. Okay, done. Now we have to design again one more thing. Patch P. Along the axis, it is 4, so minus 2 to plus 2. Along the axis, it is 2.2, it will be minus of C. So, yeah, you can see it is almost done. We need to increase the length of the uh, substrate here plus 36. But hopefully, this is almost good for all. Uh, design is almost done. Now, we yeah. will. Uh, yeah. The part is ground. We have to work on this one. If you measure here, what was the line? The statistics. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we have to remove the ground. So, for that purpose, what? First, we have to select the ground case. We come here called as uh, in your name as a DGS. Click on OK. Substance is around 23.35 mm. Okay. We have to subtract this, select these first. Ground we have to select first, then use subset. I think this is probably the field of enter. You can see something like this structure will come across. Now we have to select this middle point, align WCS over there, and here we have to create one slot called as D. BGS underscore slot, we can put any name. Uh, yeah, along U axis, we will keep as minus 4.3 by 2 to 4.3 by 2. And along V axis, it will be minus 3.86. Why we are doing negative? Because we have to be in opposite direction. Right, we can keep it as positive XC here. Check for this. Become OK. Just remove this from the ground. This is understood for you all. Now we just need to assign this UW coordinates here. Select the face. We can give 15 cells in mean while 0 to 20. Go to home, microbes, solver, port, calculate port extension partition. Calculate constructed. Okay, just start your simulation. Once you've done that, you can see your stacking parameter and radiation pattern. Thank you so much.